Understanding the absence of commas in restrictive clauses. Hello, English learners. Today, we are going to dive into a fascinating aspect of English grammar, restrictive clauses. Specifically, we will discuss why we don't use commas in restrictive clauses. This topic can be quite confusing, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you should have a solid understanding of this concept. Before we delve into the usage of commas, it's essential to understand what a restrictive clause is. A restrictive clause is a part of a sentence that you can't get rid of because it specifically restricts some part of the sentence. It's a necessary piece of information that the sentence cannot do without. For instance, consider the sentence, I want the apple that is on the table. Here, that is on the table, is the restrictive clause because it identifies which specific apple is being referred to. Now, let's focus on our main topic. Why don't we use commas in restrictive clauses? Well, the primary reason is that restrictive clauses are integral to the meaning of the sentence. If we put commas around this clause, it changes the meaning of the sentence as it becomes non-restrictive or additional information. Remember our sentence from before, I want the apple that is on the table. Here, we're specifying a particular apple out of possibly many. If we added commas, the sentence would read, I want the apple that is on the table. Now it seems like there's only one apple, and it just so happens to be on the table. As we've seen, punctuation, particularly the usage of commas, can significantly alter the meaning of a sentence. In the case of restrictive clauses, it's the absence of commas that preserves the original intent and meaning of the sentence. Remember, restrictive clauses are essential to the sentence, and using commas can shift them into the realm of non-restrictive or additional information. So, there you have it. No commas in restrictive clauses. It's a little rule that can make a big difference in how your sentences are interpreted. Always remember, when it comes to restrictive clauses, keep them close, keep them essential, and leave out those commas. Thank you for joining us today in this English learning journey. We hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and you'll master these concepts in no time. Happy learning!